Hello people, here like every week in our great TV program in Room 2. We hope you enjoy what we've prepared for you in this week. Now we are going to inform ourselves with our national and international news with Kirsi and Warling. Hello, my name is Kirsi Gandelario Jimenez. Hey, cordial greeting to all those room two into our television program room two. Today I will be mentioning the most recent national news I have shocking in the Dominican Republic. Spark will analyze the challenge after the pandemic in the Dominican Republic. Spark from Latin America, the United States and Europe will debate tomorrow in Carex. In the Dominican Republic about the economic and health challenge facing the world due to the coronavirus pandemic. The Dominican Vice President Raquel Peña will be present in person. You will speak about the impact um, management of the COVID-19 pandemic in the country. One of the countries that have registered the lowest fatality rate the world. Former President Leonel Fernandez will share his vision and proposal on the global situation in the face of the evolution of the pandemic and on the recovery prospect of Latin America the coming year. The rigid expulsion of pregnant Haitians from the Dominican Republic. Human Rights Organization, United Nations Re Report, and the government of Haitian conducted the expulsion of pregnant Haitian women from the Dominican Republic and the treatment to which more than 25 mothers have been sued. The Dominican state is not capable of solving the problem of Dominican women, Dominicans and Haitians together. We have to understand that only emergency cases are attended to in the Dominican Republic. The other cases in Haitian that must bear that warden thing. Dominican Republic extend a state of emergency due to COVID-19. Some deputies criticized the executive request to extend the state of emergency give low number of infection in the country. The Canberra's deputies of the Dominican Republic approved in an extraordinary session this Tuesday, November 24, the extension of 45 days more of the state of emergency in the country after a year of request for an uh, extension and in the face of the opposition rejection. This has been the most recent national news in the Dominican Republic. And I say goodbye, give the phrase, the constitution is the cornerstone of all our freedoms. Safe and take care of it, maintain honor and order in your own home, and the Republic will endure. Hello, my name is Warlin Peña, and I'm going to talk about the international news. Omicron, the new variant, increased the risk of reinfection by coronavirus according to a preliminary study in South Africa. The first data for a preliminary study indicate that the variant of the Omicron coronavirus could evade part of the immunity, according to a sentence in South Africa. Expert detect an increase in the number of people who contracted the virus multiple times. This is a quick test, but not a definitive one. But it's the fish of the concept about mutation in the virus. 
in another news, Xiomara Castro, the first president woman of the Honduras, who returns the left to the power after the course against her husband. Xiomara Castro from the Libertad and Refundación Party and wife of the former president Manuel Zelaya won the Honduras election. And that's all the most important the most important international news. Thanks for your attention. And now we are going to see what is happening in our section of shows with our Wilnelda. Hello, my name is Wilnelda. For this week, I have four news for us. First, Britney Spears and Prince William had a cyber romance. Yes. I get dirty thoughts. Yes, cyber romance. As teenager revealed in his new book, Brothers and Wives, about the life of British royal brothers and also they had a supposedly agreed to meet. It never happened. Second, the famous Jesse and Joe talk about their new single, Llorale a tu madre. I get dirty. And also announced the start of their tour of the United States in, United States in 2022. Next, famous the Ursupador and Sin. Alan Entrada and Isabella Castillo will start in the musical film on the telenovela, telenovela La Ulsupardora. The only one with two Bugatti. I get dirty thoughts about you, they get worse. In six months, the Alpha realized a song to celebrate the purchase of another supercar. This all for today. See you the next time. Bye. I get dirty thoughts about you. They In sports. Tell us, Joan. My name is Joan, and now we will kill few the latest news from the Dominica professional baseball show. The current champion, Jing is the Cibaeñas, Eagles. Current runner up. And the giant of the Cibao, and below the tiger of the Lycee. They will have the to the valleries. Let's check the weather with Saulo. Hey, hi, my name is Saulo Duran Parra, and I will talking about weather in the city of Puerto Plata. The temperature will be of 24 degrees Celsius party clouding during the day and with a humidity of 94%. The air quality is generally acceptable for most people. However, sensitive growth may experience minor to moderate symptoms from the long-term exposure. During the night in the city, the temperature will be of 24 degrees low with wind for the south eight of two kilometers per hour with three percent of precipitation in this way there will be clouds and can be at not full tomorrow uh, is making a great sum is expected to prepare your brain switch good night the Yauris has some Commercial recommendation for us. Today I present uh, this excellent product ideal for cleaning all types of superface. And I will also be showing you this excellent screen for skin care. And this spray that removes bad others let's see where joanna takes us in our section of tourism destination hi good afternoon welcome to tv show in room two 
today I will be talking about the nice places that we have in this country. So some of them are the Cape Cod. We we um, we know already the um, waterfalls, 27 waterfall. Also, uh, we have in Puerto Plata is one of the most nice, complete. If you wanna get in the cable car, the only one in the entire Caribbean area, which was operate continuously since 1975. This impressive 10 minutes trip will take that will take you through the A in one of the of the two cable cars at the 800 meters about the magical landscape of Puerto Plata with the set on the north and the green plains that will eventually lead to to the end of the work on, on Loma Isabel de Torres. Also we have, we also have the 27 charcos of Damahagua waterfalls. Offer a full day of hiking through thick forests, crossing, crossing bright, and discovering the Dominican flora before reaching the rocky top on the on a hill, from where you will start your so you will start your journey down, jumping or sliding down a series of waterfalls. I have been there already, and I can tell you guys that you already can go over there because they are really nice places. Also, I can let you I can let you know that we in Dominican Republic we have a lot of nice places that you can visit. So Puerto Plata is one of the most nicest city from from DR. And then guys, you I can introduce you to visit all those places. So Merry Christmas to everybody and I hope you enjoy the show, the TV show in the round two. Nice now, it was nice to see you guys. Remember, my name is Johanna Almonte. Then, I hope you enjoy my part. What's playing on the radio? The last Yaheidi. A cordial greeting. My name is Yaheidi Castilla Monte. Today, we will be talking about the most popular music in the moment. In the top number one, creating in a variety of the artists and well. In the top number two, Sir Josh of Ozuna and Anthony Santo. In the top number three, Fan of the artist Rosalia. In the top number four, Pretty from Rosalia and Tokisha. Return with you, Rosario. Let's go to the movie with Jose Alberto. Hello, I'm Jose, and I'm going to talk about news of movies. The first one is Feel the Walking Dead, renew for a new season, and Sam Dickens, and bring back Sam Dickens as uh, Madison Clark. About the season, there is no date to the launch, but the other one, the other ones, uh, the other one new is that in Harry Potter, Emma Jackson, Emma Jackson returned to Platform Nine. In the taste of the special 20th anniversary of the philosopher Stan. On January 1, a Harry Potter 20, 20 anniversary will be released. And the last one is our the last one are recommendations. If you usually watch series on Netflix, there are series, there are premieres from December 6 to 12. Let's see the first one. The first one is Shaman King. Shaman King, the premiere is on December 9. The other one is Inspector Q. The Inspector Q will be released on December 11. And the last one is How to Load Up in Christmas. The premiere is in December 10. And that's it for today. Uh, I wish you a great day. We have reached to the end of our television program, Room 2. We appreciate the tuning and it will be until next week. Bye.